Welcome back to Adventure Pete. It's glad to see you here. So what we're going to talk about today is traction control and stability track. Can you turn it off on these trucks? We'll talk about it here. So if this is your first time here, make sure you like the video, comment, tell us what you think, tell us what you want to hear about, and subscribe. We got a lot of great content coming, a lot of great content on the channel, so be sure to check it out. And we got some video footage to show what I've come up with and things I've tested out with it, so we'll show it right here. All right, to start the test, we got the plow on here. It's just up in the middle here, so it's not like dragging beyond one way or the other. And we are in two-wheel drive to start with. Traction control still on. So we're just gonna go give it some gas. You can kind of hear where it's derating. Put to the pedal, it's just derating, nothing going anywhere, and you can kind of hear the ABS kicking in and try to regulate tire speed. Doesn't do much good. Now, if we go over here and just simply hit traction control off, now you see traction control is off. That is not turned off stability track, that just simply is the traction control. Now we're gonna try to go for it and now we can kind of do more burnouts. We're not limited on uh, RPMs anymore. It's not derating us, but you still hear the ABS kick in to try to regulate wheel speed as best as possible to keep it uh, going in a straight line. Because sometimes you don't want just the tires to spin excessively. You do want them to be spinning evenly to get the best out of it. Now, the next step is to go hold this while we turn it back off right there. Then we're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Traction control has already come off. And there now you see the stability track is off. We're now, the locker kicked in and we're just spinning our tires right now here because we're in a snowy road. See if we can back up out of the hole. Yeah, the ABS is still kicking in, but we're just pretty much uh, dragging with the locker engaged. See if we can get this rolling forward again. And now we can do more of the burnouts like we're used to. The ABS is still kicking in and going crazy trying to regulate wheel speed. Now, we're going to go one step further and put it into low range. We're going to go with two because normally they start out in second gear anyways. And we'll see what it does now. Same thing. So we're still having the ABS kick on, try to regulate, but the locker is kicking in and out because we do have the locker on here and we can kind of do the burnouts like before, but we have the ABS still kicking on as it normally does. Going back up into drive. ABS is still cycling, but we still have more control like we used to. And that is how that works. And we can simply press that and it will go away. Stability track will automatically turn off once you get more than 35 miles an hour. So if you're just doing burnouts for that kind of speed, it will kick off automatically anyways, and then try to recorrect its course. So as you can see in that video, that was a quick way to kind of cover the basics of how to how to work this traction control and stability track with these trucks. Um, obviously it doesn't fully get turned off like you would in older models and things like that where you had full control and you could just uh spin the tires all day long and do four-wheel drive burnouts if you wanted to so depressing that you don't have that option but it does help protect the trucks to keep these lasting longer so honestly it's annoying especially for how much plowing i do that i'd rather have all the control but then again it's probably a smart thing because i probably don't need it so obviously the key notes are is off-road mode doesn't do anything Tow haul mode doesn't do anything either. It doesn't change anything. Traction control just basically stops uh, the engine from derating. That's about it. And then stability track is where the key is. That's where you have to hold on the button for a little bit longer to get the stability track to really kick off and give you a little bit more control of the truck. But once you get about 35 miles an hour, stability track kicks back on. So you kind of go back to traction control off only. Um, that's just kind of a quick takeaway from this little short video. Um, other than that, the truck still works great. Still enjoy it. Don't enjoy the tires. Not a big fan of these Michelin tires, but that's uh, here nor there because they came with the truck. I'm not going to buy new tires anyways. So yeah, that's uh, the short to it. And hopefully you can like the video, comment, tell us what you think, tell us what else you want to hear about, and subscribe. we got a lot of great content coming, a lot of great content on the channel, so be sure to check it out. Remember to have a great adventure.